Howdy, I'm John Richman, and I'm the inventor of the Sluice Goose Gold Drop Gold and Pater Separating Processor. This demonstration here is purely to show you the effectiveness of elutriation on separating gold from Pater. I'm going to take this gold here, and I'm going to mix it in with this black sand over here. This is 100 mesh black sand. Very difficult. It's black sand mud. Hematite. All the bad things that gold miners hate. So let's wash this gold in there and uh, do some separating. So you can see, oh, got to get those in there. Black sand is pretty dense. Even the gold sits on top of it. So I'll have to give it a hand here and kind of mix it in. Gold miner's worst nightmare. Okay, well that's pretty thoroughly mixed in there. And uh, we'll go now and process this black sand, muck, mud, through the gold drop and extract the gold. So I'm now going to wash the black sand into the funnel to drop down into the trap. We're in the trap. The black sand is supported by the vertical flow of the elutriation water. Black sand weighs about 5 grams per cubic centimeter, but the gold weighs 19.3 and cannot be supported by the vertical elutriation water flow. So the gold drops into the jar. So the pan is now empty. Now I'm cleaning out the funnel. Make sure all the gold is washed down through. Okay, everything is clean. And we should have a majority of the gold in the jar. Now we'll go ahead and um, disconnect the jar. See, we'll turn up the water flow here. Close the gate valve. Remove the jar. And there you have clean gold. captured by the gold drop. This gold was processed out of that 100 mesh black sand within about two minutes of time. And there's some pretty small stuff in there too. All without chemicals, mercury, or anything. Purely water flow. Well, that's the power of elutriation. That's pretty impressive. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for being interested. www.sluicegooseindustries.com